North Monty Company, you outdid yourself on this one. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today we've got 10 new mods for you. For all platforms, we've got 8 new. And for PC and Mac, we have 2 new. Let's check it out. First up today, we have the NMC Centermount LT46. This right here is a logging trailer, and it is the most versatile logging trailer that North Mining Company produces. The trailer not only gives you a way to transport your logs, but allows you the ability to load them as well. Now, we've got a few things similar to this in-game. Smaller stuff, nothing like this. This is massive. Not only can we load into the back, you can also load into the front as well. So you've got multiple different angles that you can attack this from. Uh, it does say logging link or log length recommendation is four meters. So do keep that in mind. And to be honest with you, this is also a vehicle. So it recognizes it as a vehicle. So you could hit left or right and bump over till you get to it. So if you leave it in the, if you leave it somewhere in the woods and you don't have your truck with you, well, you could just bump over to it. No problems there. Get it done. Nice and easy. Love being able to trick or uh, quick travel, that kind of thing. It works exactly the way you would think it would. Up and down are all the same. <laughs> here I am flinging it around. Up and down are all the same. Uh, you've also got your movements here. That all works completely normal. I mean, I didn't even bring up the help menu. And I was like, does this do this? Yep, that does that. Does this do this? Yep, that does that as well. So, again, very intuitive and it will fold. So, you could boop, bring those down, and guess what? You've got first person log grabbing too. Now, of course, video games makes it hard to have depth perception, so you may have an issue with that, like myself. However, this thing is really cool, man. Not only that, it's completely customizable. So let's check it out in the store. Of course, you're gonna find this in tools. You're gonna found it in for found it, find it in forestry machinery. It's been a long morning. I've had the hiccups for like an hour. Center mount LT46, boom, click on it. $26,000, what? Even this would make me interested in doing logging. Rim color, whatever you want. And we do get a chrome and we get a silver as well. It's more of like a iodized stuff like that. Plus we go into all of our base game colors from there. So we get the chrome, you get that silver, the stuff that we don't get as base, but you also get everything else. Main color, well, same, same thing. Starts with black, of course, but we get black anyway. It's a different black from the jet. Um, it's a, not as shiny and not as midnight colory, but it's darker than onyx. So eh, it is what it is. But you can make this whatever you want. Uh, earlier, I was playing around with it and I was like, you know what? What can we make it look like cloth? And you can. The only thing you cannot do with this that I would like to see would be wheel options, wheel configurations. But then again, North Monty Company don't offer those on their other mods either. So there's no surprise that we don't get it here. Nonetheless, even with color additions right here, it only adds $1,200. So $27,200 for this guy to be completely decked out. That's awesome. That's so cool. Oh yeah, and there's straps, of course. <laughs> I forgot to mention that too. There's a uh, strap, tie down strap. So you've got those there as well. It's like the perfect machine right here. Next up, we have the Lizard D46 and D47 pack. The only difference between these is a hydraulic frame. And if you're having a hard time being like, DJ, it, one's a little bigger, but I can't tell the difference. I don't even know why it's a little bigger. It's just higher. That's all. This has a hydraulic frame under it, but TBH. I don't know what that means because they both look exactly the same. I mean, of course, there's a kind of a, a frame going on right here. Other than that, I can't really tell much of a difference between the two, to be honest with you. And they have the exact same customization options. They have the exact same hold. Just one costs five, $2,000 more than the other one. Okay, we're going to go into tools. We're going to jump into trailers. And if you have every single trailer like I have installed, you may be going around for a while. Let me know down in the comment section below, how many trailers do you have installed? Is as many as I do, let me know. Of course, I have everything installed, every mod that Giants has, other than Global Company, of course. D46, D47, they're both the same, exact same customizations. You've got multiple different rim options, multiple different uh, main color options. This one, we're just gonna go with black and then design color, we're gonna pop that on a green so you can change the frame and you can change the uh, trailer itself, the trailer material, 
and you can change the wheels, so that's cool. Capacity, 4,200, 4, 6,700. Bell loading wagon with an opening at the rear. Bell loading wagon with an opening at the rear and the sides. Both those will pop down or just the side. So that's a great thing as well. Will Brand, you can do Lizard or Lizard 2 or Trelleborg back over. And then design corrugated sides or flat sides. Um, I tell you, I kind of like the flat sides. It gives a different look. Everything in the game is kind of cor corrugated. At least it seems. So it gives it a nice change. Again, exact same stuff over here. It's all the same. So I don't understand... <sighs> As just a general player, I don't understand why we would even have two of these. You just make one and be fine. But then again, that's why well, I'm a, you know, a DJ, I guess. <laughs> there you go. Lizard D46, D47 pack. Next up, we have the Cultivator 2M. Now, you may look at this and go, DJ is just a normal Cultivator, and it's a small one at that. Yep, but it has a secret superpower. This right here might be the most underrated Cultivator in the game because they said, you know what? There's too many three meter cultivators. There's not enough two meter. Boom, two meter cultivator. Kazakhstan 18, tearing it up right now. Yeah, getting excited about two meter cultivator. <laughs> That's all it is, just two meter cultivator. Let's check it out. Tools, you gotta jump into cultivators. And here it is on the left side for $1,500. Says 30 horsepower required. However, online says 40 horsepower required. I don't know who to believe. Nonetheless, still goes eight miles an hour regardless and working. And it is, yep, two meters. Main color, we've got a couple different options here. Nothing crazy. Uh, of course, you get some grays in there. Black, I think black looks good. They're really good. And then the green, naturally. Design color, we could change that up as well. So you could change up the colors on this, which is nice. It would, would have been nicer to have full color customization, but I get it. And then we'll set up. We have standard and then with shaft at the end. So we've got that as well. Very cool. See, I like this. See? You're going to make something, make it different. Made a two meter cultivator. Hey, I'll take it. Speaking of different, one of my favorite modders, Matt26, bringing in the Vaderstat Carrier Pack. We've got quite a few of these. We actually have the largest one in front of us right now. This is eight meter. These are disc arrows. You may be looking at this going, DJ, there's a whole lot of stuff on this thing. And I am with you. There's a whole lot. But it's because of the way it folds. We've got the wheels here and everything. It, it's just awesome. It's one of the coolest looking piece of equipment that we've got in game. Probably won't be using it because I direct drill pretty much everything. But nonetheless, we've got multiple different versions. So let's check them out. We're going to go down into tools and disc arrows. And of course, we don't have tons of disc arrows available to us. So here we are. Actually, I have a 8.4. Is that a totally different mod? No? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. Let's pop over here. <laughs> I may have got the wrong one out. We'll take a look and see, nonetheless. So we have the Carrier 420. This right here is going to be a 4 meter, 10 mile per hour. Uh, there's only one thing you do, design, no, or yes. So it's going to add those extra little tines at the end, kind of flatten everything out, make it nice and easy. But that is that. That's your 4 meter. Then we have a 5 meter and a 6.4 and an 8 meter. So that is good. And uh, yeah, I had this one out. This one's not, not part of this mod pack at all. <laughs> My bad. Nonetheless, there you go. You could change that up. It still looks pretty much identical. Just a little bit of a different customization. And that's your wheel setup at the back. Again, that's why I got so messed up. It looks the same. Nonetheless, I love this thing. It looks really good. It's going to work. It's going to do a good job for you. Again, 8 meters, 10 miles per hour, 220 horsepower. Where else are you going to find a cultivator, disc carrier rather, that goes 10 miles an hour, only 220 horsepower required at 8 meters? That's a win right there. Not not this one, the, the other one. That's Moving on. I fear the cold medicine is making me loopy. Next, we have the Dondi 800 series. This came out for PC a long time ago. Now, it has been updated and a new version has been added to make it console compatible as well. This is neat. It is big, it is heavy, and it is a subsoiler. We don't get a lot of subsoiler mods, but now we've got, I think it's five new models. So we have a 805, this is gonna be 2.8 meters. Then we have a three and a half meter, four and a half meter, five and a half, and a six and a half meter, which I believe makes that the second largest 
subsoiler that we have. So that's six meter. Yep. Let's see, eight meters. So yes, that makes that the second largest subsoiler that we have in the game. The problem with this, it requires 700 horsepower. There's only one thing in the game that we have that has 700 horsepower, and that's going to be your big bud. But it doesn't have a three-point hitch, so you're going to have to use something with this. Good luck. That's all I'm saying. Good luck. Most of you will probably be using this version right here, the 811, 500 horsepower required, five and a half meters. That is a lot easier to do. Again, all of them are the same. We have the same customization you do with roller or without the roller. It's very, very heavy. And then, of course, this little guy right here. Now, the thing, six and a half meters, 700 horsepower, right? Coming down here, eight meters, 420 horsepower. I don't understand why this needs so much horsepower, but uh, based off a real light variant, I'm sure that that is the way it is. Nonetheless, that is huge. That's a massive amount of horsepower needed. Next up, we've got a hay shed. This is a hay shed to store all of your bales or equipment. Price $5,600. Main, it's two bucks per day by Stoneway Designs. Always bringing out some really good looking mods. Always good looking mods. No, actually there is a light in here. Do we have a light switch? Don't see a light switch anywhere. Well, you guys know what that means. Time to F11 and see if these lights come on at night, which they do, and it is bright in there. Man, look at that. It stands out in a crowd, that is for sure. So, again, with this, what you could do, the whole reason you would need something like this is to be able to put your bells in here so that they're not gonna rot or anything like that. I really like the bunker tubular design of this, so you can kind of pull through, in the middle with maybe say an auto load bell trailer, something like that, pull straight through, load the bells off to the side, left or right, and then continue driving through and go and pick up some more bells. Having something like this in seasons is absolutely necessary if you're gonna be doing bells. So do I like this? Absolutely love it. This is gonna be found in placeables and it's going to be found in sheds. Next up, we have a grain silo extension brought to you by FSH Mining. These guys are the ones that made uh, Sonsug Agri Farm. Love that map. It's actually in testing right now. I can't wait to see it. This is a lizard grain silo extension. Price is going to be $154,000. Capacity, here's, here's the interesting part. It says 265,000 liters, size 8.5 meters by 18.5 meters. Seasons ready. All caps there. Boom, baby. So, what do you do with this? Well, you need a normal silo first, and then you place this down and you get your extension. It is kind of nice. It's got a way different look than anything else we've got in game. So I don't think that we're going to have anything in game that's going to make this look good, but let's see, I was going to try and climb to the top. Can we, can we do it? Oh, uh, 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 maybe. Ah, can we, ah, hey, if you can climb to the top, let me know. Let's check this out because this is where the interesting part is. It It's like half of what it says it is in game. So grain silo extension online, it says see, 154. Yep, 154. However, capacity 265,000 liters, not even close. It holds 90,000 liters. It, I, don't, I don't know where that came from, but this doesn't hold anywhere close to 265,000 liters. 90,000 liters only normal crops so you got your wheat barley uh, canola corn oats sunflowers and soybeans nothing else that is it again you will need to get it close but you can place a couple of these down you place two or three four 20 30 if you can get them down you get them close you can put them down and your last new mod today for all platforms these are flags it is a flag pack of 12 different flags you've got your agco brand big bud case ih challenger Fent, not enough Challenger stuff going on. I think I know what to, I can I could fix that. JCP John Deere Lizard. Got to rep the Lizard brand, man. I want a Lizard t-shirt. <laughs> Massey Ferguson New Holland Pioneer Seeds and Grain and Wilson Trailers. These are great. I got to tell you what. Another Stoneway design right here. Look at these. The detail, the intricacies, the dirty look. Dude. This, these look amazing for farm sam come on this is great i tell you what everybody 
that is making mods right now for Farming Simulator, right? Well, most everybody is killing the game, changing it up. I mean, look at this. You would expect just like if I made this, I would literally make a pole with a flag on it. And that's it. I wouldn't even make it move. Now, I will say, if you can look, they're all moving roughly the same. Some of them are a little different, but mostly all the same, depending on when you place them down. But look at this. I, I, just the base on these is what's killing me. And then as we go up, it's just, I mean, look at that, all the way through the top. Nobody's going to be able to get up here and see this, but you <laughs> that's awesome. Very, very cool. Very good looking stuff. Um, of course, every pole on every flag is the same. And these are all going to cost you 1000 bucks. So if you want to stick a John Deere flag up, or if you want to stick a Case IH flag, I say go for it. And if you're looking for those flags, those are going to be in placeables and in decorations. Moving into our new mods for PC and Mac only, and not to let you down, but we've got two small plows. The first one is the Agromat Unia Atlas. It's a Polish four-furrow plow produced by the factory Agromat Unia in that Polish town. Let's check it out. Where are you going to find this? Of course, you're going to find it in tools, and it is going to be found in plows. And if you've got every single plow mod installed, it's going to be your very last one right here. 6,500 bucks, 90 horsepower required, two meters, so it's not very big, seven miles per hour, nothing different there. But we can change the color. We only get one color option. That's going to be this green right here. This is green that is not in game, so this is a custom color right there. It's not going to cost you anything extra to do. And your last mod today, the Metal Fag U034 pack. With this, we get two plows. We get one that is 1.5 meter and one that is two meter. This is the two meter version in front of you right now. Of course, we're gonna jump back into tools. We're gonna jump back into plows and it's going to be right here, right before the other. So you get the U034 and the U034-1. 7,800 bucks for the one and a half meter and then 9,000 for the two meter. Customization, nada. No customization whatsoever. Good looking mod. Absolutely. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure those notification bells are turned on. YouTube's doing some interesting stuff with the notification bell, so make sure you click it, even if you're on mobile or on computer or Mac, iPad, whatever you're watching this on. Make sure you click the bell. Make sure it's set to all so that you never miss a video here on the channel. It has been a very interesting morning for me over here. I'm on some new medications from the doc, and I'm all also got the hiccups. This has been a nightmare to record, but we got it all done. I appreciate you guys hanging around with us. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.